Histories are never behind us. They are here, they are part of who we are, who I am, who you are. I can't ever think about making work that's about contemporary life that doesn't involve histories because they inform all of that and they're part of all of that. And I'm interested in a way of thinking about power and how I guess societies globally or on even smaller levels are structured and how they place the individual or different kinds of communities within these kinds of structures. I generally work across photography, video, moving image, print, I write and performance as installation and most projects also work across all of those mediums. So I'm going to be showing a film called The Long Note, which is a film that focuses on the different roles and involvements that women had in the civil rights movement in Northern Ireland through 1968, which globally was a year for civil rights movements across the world. So it's about placing the events in a global context. So there are lots of personal stories from people who were part of the movement, whether it happened accidentally or whether they were genuine activists right from the beginning, but it's about the role that women took and their experiences of that process. So the film came about because uh, Mary Kremen, who's the um, director at Void in Derry, called me one day and asked me if I'd be interested in, in making a film about the role of women in the civil rights movement in Northern Ireland. So alongside the film, we are going to have a reading space. So when I was in Derry, we compiled a list of books looking at the idea of resistance, largely around kind of the context in Ireland and Northern Ireland. And there are books for teenagers, there are books that are historical texts, there are photographic books. So it's a way, I guess, of engaging as well in, in the kind of what surrounds the films. And so we've also got a series of prints called Shouting in Whispers and they're prints that actually were made to sit alongside a film that I made called Shouting in Whispers, which is developed to look at the role and responsibility that we take individually or collectively in moments of crisis. They're all designed to kind of ask questions of the viewer. Increasingly, I'll kind of make installations where the film is often, or the moving image work is often the foundation of the project, but then um, the film will speak to the prints and the prints might speak to a performance so I might use language and text or images that work across all of those different elements of the work. I use texts from different people whether that's a philosopher or from a song or a phrase from a poem. There's a kind of democratization of the way that I work with language. People talk a lot about this idea of the marginal voice I am interested in that, but I'm interested in all voices and I'm interested in all lives and how we all can take responsibility and really think about what that means in the world. The more my practice develops, the more I really understand why I'm using the different mediums that I'm using when I use them.